Uh, before I was a Christian, I, I probably would have called myself a Christian. Um, I went to church confirmation in middle school, and uh, um, but nothing really sunk in. And um, over time, like when I was in high school, it, it just kind of went away, and I was fluctuating. And I think um, I remember even one time saying to someone else. Uh, that uh, I didn't believe in God because I had no reason to believe in God. And um, that kind of left me feeling really empty and um, kind of lost. Uh, I came to be a Christian um, my first year of college. Uh, out of the blue, uh, one of my old pastors uh, called me up. Um, I hadn't talked to him in uh, more than four years. And, uh, and he asked me if I wanted to be his mentee. And, um, uh, and I said yes, because at that time he was really old and kind of frail and I really didn't want to um, offend him by saying no, so I said yes. And, uh, and so he gave me uh, reading assignments out of the Bible and we went through a Christian a book and would discuss it. And uh, during that period of time, it, it really sunk in. And uh, I remember praying to God and uh, asking for forgiveness and and for a true relationship with Jesus. I'm getting baptized today because um, because I want to affirm my faith in Jesus. And uh, I haven't up until this point, mainly because I've, I've been afraid <laughs> of being in front of people and um, being out there. Uh, but really, it's it's not about me, and it's about uh, just being obedient to God God's commands. Right now, uh, God's working in my life. He, I, fulfilling me with, uh, with, you know, real joy. It's, it's not, I don't feel like I'm, I'm grasping for, you know, money or, or for fame or, or knowledge or anything um, that I thought that I would need before. Uh, and so with that, he's making me want to be a better husband and a better co-worker and, and a better son. Brian, it's a delight and it's a joy to hear your testimony and to hear you talk of, of God's saving work He's accomplished in you. I'd like to ask you a couple questions this morning. Do you believe that the death of Jesus Christ on the cross was the final and complete payment for your sins? Yes. And is it your desire to follow Him in obedience for the rest of your life? Yes. And Brian, it's my joy, to privilege, and joy and privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.